This is Insolence, 14 months ago. So beautiful with five spikes, beautiful, gorgeous, vibrant blooms. Unfortunately, one of the five spikes was a terminal one. And 14 months later, here she is now. The key being terminal spike. And you can see that what's left of her now is a dead terminal spike. No more leaves, but we have a keiki to protect. So a month ago, I was watching what was going on with the terminal spike and on the top, it was trying to push out another keiki and I thought maybe this orchid already knows that the bottom keiki is going to fail. So it started on a second one. However, you can see that that got all crispy and then at the bottom of the stem, it started to push something else out, also trying to grow something else, but that clearly dried up. We are left with the keiki, the first one that it actually produced, but now it's got nothing to sustain it so it's already dropped one leaf and the root tips have stopped growing even though I have kept it up in you know very humid environment and plenty of light as you can see by the anthocyanin on the leaves. What I'm going to do is salvage my keiki. I'm going to go about it in such a way that it doesn't even come off the stem. I'm going to use the stem as the support and then we're going to put it in a form of water culture in the hopes that the roots are going to start absorbing water otherwise my OG insolence is going to be history. But first of all while it's still all snug in the pot the idea being I'm going to secure the stem right here and on the top as well before I pull everything out of the pot. Now what I could also do is just try and twist the little Phalaenopsis keiki off the stem and try to suspend it in such a way into water so that the stem doesn't get wet. But as it is so tiny, that's to me a little bit risky and I do not want to risk getting its little base so wet that I will incur rot. None of this is guaranteed. It's the first time I'm doing it, but I've been mulling through the process prior to filming and I'm hoping that we're going to come out on top. One thing that cannot happen here is that the keiki slips off and then overnight lands in water because that would be the end of the keiki, in my opinion. I think it's too volatile. Okay, something like that. Now, there were no roots in the pot anyway, so she'll hey, hey, come out very, very easily. This is what we've got going for the time being. Now, I'm gonna see if I can't cut that base off. That was pretty simple. And then, we're going to measure how deep into that little glass this needs to go to touch water. Let's not cut off too much too soon. And I have the tag here because if she wobbles around on her axis, I would then glue the tag onto the back of the other stake so that the flat surface will make it even more steady. This was why I had the tag, just in case she keeps rocking back and forth. But she's not, so we don't need to do that. Now that we have her in the glass, do we want her a little bit lower? Yes, we want her a little bit lower because I have a very dry climate. So to put more humidity around her leaves, that is always a good thing. Like that. Would you please give my little keiki a like? Much, much needed. This would be the first time I would be rescuing a Phalaenopsis with a terminal spike that grew its own keiki and I managed to cultivate the keiki into something that we can hopefully pot up in another 14 months, something like that. Because my aim in this situation now is to do the water culture format. Let's see that we get some water up to the edge of the roots, just by the tips. Make sure that we break the surface water tension so that they eventually do start absorbing water. I have in the past 10 days tried to mist these roots very, very carefully without getting any water into the crown. I don't know if I was successful, but they are definitely not accepting any water at this point in time. But the roots are touching the water now. In this water, I have about 30 parts per million of calcium and magnesium, just to start things off. When I change the water, I'm going to put in 30 parts per million of seaweed, <laughs> just to see if we can't encourage things a little bit more. So we're done with this project. 
Take a moment to subscribe to the channel to follow the progress along with my first time ever cakey growth that hopefully will stay with us in the collection. And how much time have we got? Let me show you something else. If you don't mind, I do have something that I can show you because doing it this way, yeah, I have another example I'd like to show you and why I'm kind of feeling hopeful. <laughs> I apologize for the dirty leaves, <laughs> but here you have Walter. Walter was once a thriving, beautiful Phalaenopsis and I messed it up badly. I intervened at a time of year I shouldn't have intervened. If you're interested in those videos, I'm going to link them in the description. But I decided to go along the water culture way to revive him and get his roots back. And so far, we're doing pretty good. This root has extended exponentially. I think you can see the bubble there where the root had stopped growing and then started growing again. It's extending beautifully. Similar incident is happening here. So we're getting there with Walter. And well, even though he's right now <laughs> going to be without any blooms for many, many years to come, the leaf has plumped up <laughs> and the other structures are looking nice and he's trying to really, really hard to catch up because these are all new leaves after I put him into this glass with water and he's ready for a water change. Right now also in his water he's got calcium and magnesium and with the water change I'm going to put seaweed in. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to just repeat that with my little keiki here in the hopes that insolence the og the once beautiful big orchid that my daughter gave me that she will be back maybe in six to seven years that's why i said it's best to subscribe to the channel because you never know when that video might be posted <laughs> if you have any suggestions or thoughts you think that i could do better with these two let me know in the comments i would love to exchange some ideas most importantly at this point in time i want to say thank you so very much for watching i wish you a fabulous day on the condition that you stay safe take care bye